Hello, I'm Gerald, the CEO of Steamboat, and today I want to talk about our Eros for 2023. Um, when we introduced our Stinger Crossbow to the market, we also introduced a new Aero lineup because the Eros that were available on the market were just not suitable for a high-end uh, repeating crossbow. What we had in the beginning were those aluminum arrows, um, very solid design. You have a CNC machined tip made from stainless steel, um, optimized for protection of the target. So those are uh, awesome target arrows. You have a very sturdy aluminum shaft, um, rubber veins, and our glass uh, reinforced um, polymer uh, was used for the NOx. These arrows fly exceptionally well, as long as they are super straight. Um, when you use the arrows on very short distance or with higher draw weight, um, because originally we only had like 50 or 60 pounds on our crossbows, um, and for those power levels, those are absolutely awesome. Um, if, the, if the arrow is decelerated a little bit too heavy, um, so if, if the deceleration is too much, then the arrow shaft can get bent. And once the arrow shaft is even slightly bent, you will have a spread, you will have um, a deviation, and this, uh, the accuracy of the crossbow suffers. So best accuracy you can only achieve if you use brand new arrows or if you, um, if you care for them exceptionally well. Um, we not only had target arrows in the beginning, we also had hunting arrows with our um, very popular pistol crossbow broadheads. We were the first company on the market that introduced such an arrow that flew straight. Um, those arrows that were available before Steamboat just veered off after a few meters um, and our broadheads hit the mark. Yeah? They fly straight, um, they, are, they have an awesome track record, they are used and were used for, for a lot of hunting applications and um, customer feedback was all, always ex excellent on our um, aluminum hunting broadheads. And last but not least, we had Botkin arrows, which were a little bit heavier. Um, they were the first reaction to our 90 pounds, which definitely um, <coughs> were too much power for our lightweight under 10 grams um, target arrows. The Botkin arrows are heavier, the aluminum shaft is a little bit more sturdy, and they are exceptionally, go exceptionally well regarding external ballistics, how, how well they fly, and um, they were suitable for the 90 pounds limbs. But still here you had the problems on shorter distances or on harder targets, which is ideal for those hardened tool steel uh, tips. The air shaft can also get bent and then you have yeah, just worse accuracy. Um, to alleviate those problems, we decided to step up to carbon fiber arrows. We will keep the aluminum arrows in our production and manufacturing, but we will also offer now um, carbon fiber arrows. We will have two different types of arrows, lightweight ones and heavy ones. The heavy ones are, can, can be seen here on top, and um, you are able to spot the difference with the stainless steel ring that's here on this arrow. So the lightweight one has no stainless steel ring, and the heavy one has a stainless steel ring. Also, the heavy ones have aluminum knocks, whereas the, the lightweight arrows have uh, polymer knocks. Um, this is not for strength reasons. Our glass fiber reinforced uh, polymer is extremely strong. We never had a, a failure of a knock, so that, that's definitely not, not an issue. But the thing is that our heavy ones are a hybrid arrow. So you have a carbon shaft, and inside of this carbon shaft, there is an aluminum shaft. This aluminum shaft is here connected to the knock, and here screwed in the front with the tip together. Everything is also glued together, so you're not able to disassemble those arrows. But this very complex hybrid design is necessary for perfect flight, flight characteristics. Yeah? It was very important for us in product development that our arrows are very accurate and that um, the external ballistics are optimized. And we found out that just putting the weight to the front um, is, is not good. Yeah? What you want is a very optimal um, distribution of the weight. And I think we do the, did a very good work with our heavy hybrid arrows. And, um, those are suitable for our higher draw weights, 90, 120 and 150 pounds. And the lighter ones are ideal for 55, 35, uh, 35 55 and 75 pounds. Our three lighter options regarding uh, draw weights. We have four different applications. Um, the same three that we had in the beginning. So blue for target shooting, black for botkins. Uh, also here, heavy hardened tool steel tip uh, designed for maximum penetration. It has no blades in, in a traditional sense, but you have here some edges. So those targets, those arrows are much harder on your target than the target arrows. 
they just make a very small um, point sized hole and then just um, push the material besides. Those make a five star um, shaped um, hole through the, through the target so it makes much more damage to traditional archery mats. But they are designed for penetration of harder stuff so for that they are awesome. And then we have color coding red, our hunting arrows with the same stainless steel blade as before. Yeah. The light one is basically the same as our uh, previous arrow from the flight characteristics and from, from, from ballistics. Um, just much more sturdy and, and of course because of the carbon shaft much less likely to get bent. And the heavy one is 50% heavier and designed for the higher draw weights. We also have, that's new, absolutely new, we call them war bolts. Very, very sturdy broadheads, very similar to those that we use on the Fenris bow for years now. Um, they are shaped like traditional, historic, medieval ages uh, arrowheads. Um, what you have here is a very sturdy arrow, very sturdy broadhead that will survive even if, if you miss your target and hit something harder. Um, the downside is you're not able to sharpen them as, as uh, razor sharp as you can sharpen the red ones. Um, tests by Fletched Evolution, uh, definitely recommendation to check out his channel, um, showed that the heavier war bolts have the tendency to stay in, in one line even if you penetrate ribs and, and your target, whereas the red ones have the tendency or can steer off a little bit inside of your, of your target. So this is also something to consider if, if you're a hunter. Uh, our heavy broadheads and our, um, I would say, standard broadheads that, are, that have a very good track record. Um, perhaps one last thing, speed loaders. Of course, all our carbon fiber arrows are suitable for our speed loaders. Um, we sometimes get the feedback that veins can be damaged when loading the speed loader. Um, this is the way how the speed loader operates. So you keep the arrows in the magazine, you put your thumb on it and you yank on the handle uh, to keep the plastic part in your hand and the arrows inside of the magazine. This is also where nobody has problems. Problems have, people have problems when loading the, the speed loader, especially when you have broadheads. So I'll, I'll show it once more how it's properly done. First you insert the arrow in the front, push it all the way down. And then what I like to do is I like to insert my thumb here to get everything a little bit spread apart. And then without any effort, I can push the arrows in. Yeah? There should be no resistance. Ergo, there could be no way to strip off the veins if you do it correctly. Yeah? Just position them a little bit, just pry it apart, and then it, the slot gets wider, and then you can very easily, without any resistance, yeah, slide everything in. Yeah, just spread it apart, and then just push it forward. So very quick um, reloading of the speed loader without any risk of damaging the veins. Yeah, as always, you can find all information about our products on our website, www.steambo.com. Um, please also subscribe to our channel and um, if you want to be informed as closely as possible, I suggest you uh, subscribe to our newsletter. Um, as always, thank you very much for, for your time and goodbye.